That's what a lot of this is about, coming here, trying to pick up points, not just medals, but the points that get you to the World Cup Finals. And Elena Richter with a big win here today in the women's bronze medal match. Germany with a silver medal in the men's team competition this morning. And now picking up a bronze medal in women's competition. As Elena Richter comes away with the 7-3 victory. Now we move on and get set for the women's gold medal match. And two relative newcomers. This is Kito Ayano of Japan. Out first on to the field. Ms. Kato surviving a quarterfinal shootoff with Ana Maria Rendon of Colombia. Then went on to beat Elena Richter in the semifinals, six to four. Of course, Elena Richter had beaten Kato in the semifinals at Shanghai in two, uh, 2014. So it was a little bit of payback on the part of Kato Ayano, a 22 year old who is ranked 65th in the world, averages right around 8.88 shot or points per arrow. And is awfully good in shootoffs. Has won three of the four shootoffs that she's participated in. Of course, we haven't seen a shootoff yet today. There's some of the numbers on Kato Ayano, world ranking of 65th. And so far this year in match play, unbeaten, 5 0. Oh. Wow. Pretty good. <laughs> got a good year going right now. Let's see if she can keep it up. But she's got a very tough competitor coming out onto the field right now. Good look at Mackenzie Brown, seated fifth after qualifying from the United States, already has a gold medal in her pocket from this morning when she teamed up with Katuna Lorig and Lenola Pritchard of the United States to win the women's team gold medal, looking for her second gold of the day. So we'll let her get squared away. Step up to the line and we'll give you the numbers on Mackenzie Brown. Mackenzie scoring a 6-2 win in the quarterfinals and then defeating Cristina Esavua in the semifinals. The 20-year-old from the United States, 10-3 in match play so far this year. And it's the first meeting between these two archers. Mackenzie is a, um, well, I'm pretty sure both of these archers are full-time training, but I know that Mackenzie lives at the training center and um, trains full-time. So this is, this is life for her. Beautiful Chula Vista, California. Hails from Flint, Texas. So Mackenzie Brown, 20 years old, 51st in the world. Has 13 there you go. Nice match all, wins now. already in her career. And leads there off with a 10. That's a good start. Very uh, Builds a lot of confidence when you can just come out on the field and shoot a 10 right off the bat. Kato Ayano trying to get a feel for this field. Of course, Mackenzie Brown's been out here once already. Conditions may have changed a bit, but she's comfortable, obviously, with her surroundings. Mm. And she's got great support from the uh, American coaches and uh, all of her team members. I'm not saying that Miss Kato doesn't. All of the uh, the, Jap the Japanese team was um, actually with us at a training camp that uh, Team Canada had in um, Salt Lake City. Boom. She didn't look very happy with that, but that still clinches the set. Uh, and Team Japan is a very team-oriented team. Can't figure out any other words to say, but they're cohesive. Very yeah. yeah, they're very supportive of each other, and it's really good to see that they meld this well together and again they're they're a very happy team they're always smiling and everything right now Kato is just a little bit behind uh, in this match so she's probably not uh, not too happy with that but again it's not over till it's over it's only two set points right now and you still got more sets to shoot Kenzie looking comfortable out there she admits she needed to relax she said I've been putting a little too much pressure on myself probably the worst thing you can do in this sport yeah, yeah. and I've done that before and uh, there's enough already. <laughs> there is. And they're from, <laughs> from external from forces. Coaches and funders and yeah. your uh, NSOs and everything. So it's it's good to just relax, shoot the arrows, because like you're good. 
you know, every archer out there is a good archer. They're a good shot. They've practiced a lot, so if they could just go onto the field, relax, shoot their shot, then the stuff that always happens in practice will happen in competition. A serene Sunday in the park here in Wrocław, Poland. Hardly serene, though, for the archers at this shooting line. We're in the gold medal match for the women right now. And Mackenzie Brown leads it 2-0 after the first set. Let's see if Kato Iono settles down here. Nice it's a good thing she was shooting at the right target. <laughs> okay, good. Low left. Low left nine. That'll long work. Shot. Good enough. Make sure we finish them all. all you have to do is beat your opponent by one point in this game. That's it. And you win. Reminds me of the saying about how you run away from a bear. You just run faster than the guy who's... You run faster than the slowest guy. Slowest guy. That's it. So all you got to do is beat that one okay, guy. Please, low. Next shot can be so for the first time, there. Mackenzie Brown lands outside the yellow golden circles, golden rings. And we're tied at 17 here in the second set. Nine. So Mackenzie will need a 10 to take this set. Much better effort by Kato Ayano, right but what an effort by Mackenzie Brown. See, you drop it like it's hot. <laughs> you can hear Mel, her Mel. coach. What did he say? Drop it like it's hot? Yeah, he's uh, he's really good at keeping the archers uh, relaxed and uh, comfortable. Um, I spent a week with him in Lignitsa, and he's uh, by far one of the top coaches that I've ever um, chatted with and spent time with. And uh, I mean, immediately he saw that I was the only Canadian there, and he took me in as uh, basically one of his own having lots of chats with him and everything. Very interesting man and very knowledgeable. He loves people and he loves the sport. Yeah, and he's always willing to help out anybody. And uh, I mean, like, if anybody's having problems on the field, he was just right there saying, like, how can I help? How can I, what can I do? And it doesn't matter if it's uh, teammates or competitors or whoever, he's always there. Great sportsman. Coach Mel in the box for Mackenzie Brown. Mackenzie. Defeated Alejandra Valencia in the gold medal match at the Arizona Cup. Also won the individual silver medal at Yankton at the World Youth Championships this year. A year ago, won a mixed team gold medal with Brady Ellison in Shanghai. Trying to add to her resume. Kato Ayano trying to stay alive right now. Down for nothing and trying to avoid being swept by Mackenzie Brown. Okay, a little bit, little bit She was trying okay. to talk that one into the... Uh, one. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't really the golden work rings. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it does work, but uh, I would give it a 25% uh, success rate. Okay. Comeback has never worked for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think comeback will ever work for her. Comeback, baby. There she goes. It's all right. Okay, we're going to have one good strong shot here next. Mel Johnson in the box. Mel Nichols. Yeah, Nichols, excuse me. Nine. And Mackenzie can only tie here. She needs a 10 just to tie. A 9 will lose the set. Boom. <laughs> goes the dynamite. <laughs> So they split, and she still has a four-point cushion. Mackenzie Brown leading 5-1. I remember when I said 6-0, but I'll take, you know, 5-1. I'm okay with that still. And you hear Mel Nichols saying, it's okay. You're all right. Good position, sitting in a good spot right now. And I really wouldn't be surprised if Mel said that if she wins, that uh, he's going to buy her ice cream. He's a big advocator of that. So Thank you. That just gets them to relax just a little bit more. So Keido Ayano, okay, who uh, got past Deepika Kumari early on in the elimination rounds here in Brodsvav. Not much to cheer about for the, chance, for the fans from Japan. Not yet, at least. Keido Ayano competing in just her third World Cup event. We saw her in Shanghai in 2014, Antalya 2013. Did win a team bronze medal at stage one a year ago and a team silver two years ago in Antalya.
trying to win the gold medal here in Wrocław. <laughs> Strong effort, good shot. Okay. Yeah, she was not happy with that shot as soon as she let it go. We're going to get it still. Advantage, Cato Ayano. Nice shot. Okay, so I'm had, to put it together. That had confidence behind it. There's a lot to be said about being confident with your shot when it goes off. And a great look of determination on her face. And here, an eight will win it. And would tighten up this match considerably. Shoot your shot. Okay, let's get a good, good aiming point. There we go. That's her set. That's what she needed to put the set out of reach. So a 10 right here would not be enough for Mackenzie okay, Brown. High. It's a nine instead. Okay. So the set does go right. to Kido Ayano. The first set that she's won outright so far here in the first four sets. Now she came out. Uh, she came out shooting that one as if she had nothing to lose, and that's because probably uh, the five to one score. So at that point, she just said, "You know what? I'm going to stop trying really hard. Just shoot the shot for myself." And you saw that on the first shot and the second shot. It's very good shooting. Just to refresh your memory, in case you weren't keeping score at home in Shanghai, it was Kang Che Young of Korea beating Choi Mi Sun of Korea 6-2 in four sets to win the gold medal along the Huangpu River in the beautiful Pudong district of Shanghai. And then on Kunialti Beach in Antalya just a couple of weeks later, it was Choi Mi Sun going from silver medalist to gold medalist as she defeated Kibo Bay. So the Koreans have been dominant. But while the cat's away, the rest of us are playing here in Wrocław, Poland. And an opportunity for either Kato Ayano or Mackenzie Brown to break through and win a gold medal. It's 5-3 in favor of Mackenzie Brown. And nice Ayano coming back. Mackenzie Brown trying to hold her off after jumping out to that 4-0 start. Yes, right there. Terrific shot. She was talking to Arrow while it was going down there too, so. I don't know if that was uh, more talking of determination, like get in there, or <laughs> trying to bring it back from another place that she was aiming at. Great <laughs> determination. Kato Ayano. Eight. Okay, Sales high, nope. so nope, the nine Let's will go. win. Right. And it'll bring it to a shoot off. At this point, I tell myself, gold is good. <laughs> well, I think that'll do it. Yep, it seals the deal. We are going to a shoot-off. Kato Ayano coming back from four down and sending this match to a shoot-off as she wins the fifth set, takes the fifth set, ties it at five all, and we will go to our first shoot-off of the day. In fact, I think it's our first shoot-off of the weekend, if my uh, memory serves me correct. <laughs> we did not have any shoot-offs yesterday in compound competition and came close to one, but did not get it. And so Mackenzie Brown, if she's going to win this gold medal, she's going to have to do it in the one arrow shoot-off. She had a 4-0 lead after the first two sets, still up by four after three sets. Yep. But the Japanese the opponent comes back, wins the fourth and the fifth set, and forces the shoot-off. And for anybody who needs a quick reminder, shoot off is going to be conducted in the same order that they had started the first set. And the archer with the arrow closest to the center will win this match. If the arrows are um, the exact same distance from the center as measured by the judges on these new target faces that they're putting up, then we'll go to a second arrow for shoot off. But that's a very rare occurrence, and I think this past Copenhagen experience, I saw my first ever um, measurement to the third arrow for team competition, and that is the most extremely rare occurrence I have ever seen in archery. 
Um, but here we go for a shoot off, and we're just calibrating our Falco Eye scoring system, which is our laser scoring system that are, encompasses the target. And that'll be able to give us a very accurate reading of which arrow is closer to the center. Of course, we're still going to need uh, human intervention to measure the exact distance. But here we go for our shoot off, and what better way to win a gold medal than a shoot off? Well, psychology plays such a big part here. You've seen Mackenzie Brown. She's got to be disappointed that that four-point lead got away from her, and she has to go to a shoot-off. Meanwhile, Kato Ayano is thrilled just to be in this position to have this chance. Yeah. Shooting a 30 in the time that you needed to get back, very good for her. All right. Many have said it's an advantage to shoot first in the shoot-off. Mackenzie Brown with a chance to put the pressure on Kato Ayano. There's nice pressure <laughs> right there. That's what I'm talking about. I told you. Wow. That was a very good shot. She still has a chance, but she's going to have to hit the spider, I think. Kato Ayano, oh. not even close. The gold medal goes to Mackenzie Brown of the United States. And that is one of the best shots I've seen in this situation for a gold medal, shoot off for, uh, for a gold medal. Be able to come out here and just confidently get up there and shoot an X. It's a very good shot, so well-deserved gold medal for Mackenzie Brown. Two great competitors, and Mackenzie Brown is the one who comes out on top and gets her second gold medal of the day as she comes through in the clutch and gets the 10 she needed in the shoot-off and wins on target number one. And the pressure's off now. Now she can really relax.